Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are jumping into another dupe tutorial. Can you guess which side of my face is budget friendly and which side is crazy expensive? Because one side of my face is almost $800 of products used, the other is around 100 bucks. So I really feel like I nailed this look. I actually love it so much that I'm just gonna wear my makeup like this for the rest of the day because it matched up so nicely that you really can't tell. And I love that because that's the whole point of this video is to show you guys options of makeup out there that will work just as well as the high end, that will give you the same result and maybe inspire you to not be afraid to try out some of these tutorials that you see online even if maybe you can't afford every item that is shown there's always other options out there because as we know there is so much makeup available whether you are at Sephora or the drugstore or online or wherever so without me rambling too much we are gonna hop straight into this look be sure to leave me comments on other you know looks that you want me to do Dupetorial in the future, and I'm happy to do that. All right, let's get started with a little bit of primer. We're gonna do expensive on this side, budget-friendly on this side. I have a little Dior primer over here, $45 for one ounce, $7.99 for the Catrice. These basically do the same thing. They minimize the look of pores, and they are going to help your makeup last a really long time. We are primed. I am all set to go in with foundation. I have an expensive one right here from Make It Forever. We're gonna use on this side. And then I have one from Koki. This is also an HD foundation. This is the Skin Perfect, which I really love. If you saw my foundation declutter, I'm actually not the biggest fan of this one right here. It has a little bit too much of a slip for me, but I wanted to show you how identical these two are. So I thought it was perfect for this dupe tutorial. So this is the Makeup Forever over here, and this one is $43. Oh girl, that is a little bit too dark than what I thought it was. <sighs> mm, I actually have a lighter shade that I think I'm gonna mix in. So my deal with this foundation, the Makeup Forever one, is it just slides off of me. It just never provides me a long wearing like good makeup day, and that's my issue, but I do know that so many people love this foundation. So, you know, try it for yourself, see what you think. Now I'm going to take the Koki, and press that on my palette a little bit and go in on the other side. And the Koki foundation is just a little bit thicker and wears a little bit better in my opinion and it's a lot more affordable. We have an affordable concealer palette from Target. We also have a very expensive concealer from La Mer. This is in the shade medium, and I'm just gonna go right underneath the eye, and I'm actually gonna use my finger to pat this in. I'm gonna cancel out those dark circles. Circles. All right, over on the affordable side, we're busting into that Target concealer from Sonia Kashuk. Less money on makeup, more money for shoes. Now we're gonna go underneath the eye with more La Mer on the expensive side. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and grab an excessive amount of powder and I'm going to make sure there are no creases, smooth them out if there are, and go in. You know what I recommend to everybody? As I'm spilling powder all over my cute outfit, just get ready naked. For the other eye, I wish I had something more original to share with you guys. Ooh, I just smiled and like, you can't smile when you're baking, don't do that. So if I look a little like mean right now, that's what's going on. I have Cody Airspun powder. This is just really the only loose setting powder that's at the drugstore that I enjoy. I'm going down the bridge of the nose with the cheap one. I hope you guys are all okay with that, okay? I am gonna take some of the excess off of my sponge and just lightly graze the rest of my face. I don't wanna be too overpowdered, but you know, just enough. And I'm gonna do the same with the La Mer. While I am baking, I am going to attack my eyebrows. And by attack, I mean try to make them look a lot bigger than they actually are. So for that, I'm gonna use this Kevin Aquan little guy right here that is $26 in the shade Brunette. Now I'm just gonna fill in on my expensive side. And normally I like to use I'm dying. Normally I do like to use a bunch of different brow products, but that just would be too crazy. So we're just gonna play with one on each brow today. This Kevin Aquan pencil is really good, so I do really like it. But for this dupe tutorial, we're gonna take the LA Girl Shady Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. And this one compared to the $26 is 
Not half bad. I'm actually pretty impressed with this pencil. All right, so I'm gonna let my bake sit a few more minutes and then I'll scoot you guys a little bit closer. The bake is dusted off. The brows have been completed with a little bit of concealer underneath. I felt like I got a little carried away and they were just too thick, so the brow dupe part of this, I don't know that I'm feeling. I'm not having the best brow day, but moving on. I have a $5 bronzer that I am loving so much and it is a dupe for this guy right here, which has been so popular on YouTube. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic. This one is $49 and this one's five bucks. And they are literally the same color and I actually like this one better. So I'm gonna go in here with a Morphe M424 and I'm gonna start up on the temples. This is the expensive side. We can see a little bit of that bronzing action happening. Okay, so we can see that's very pretty, very bronzy. Let's go into the Glamour Dolls and let me wipe off my brush. And I just wanna show you on my fingers how similar these two are. They both have, ooh, I have liner on me. They both have that soft bronzer, kind of almost cool tone property. Not cool, but it's just very neutral. It's not overly warm. Really, really love it. Let's do a little blush. I have a Makeup Revolution, the matte blush powder in Beloved here. I'm gonna use this on, of course, the affordable side. It is a $5 blush. We're just gonna wiggle her around the apples of the cheeks. How pretty is that though? Isn't that like a nice, soft, pinky coral matte blush? On the more expensive side, I have Technicolor from Lorac. A little bit more pigment, you can see, like it's a little bit better with the pigmentation, but very similar color, gives you the same effect. If you're on a budget, you absolutely can go the $5 route. And going to the eyes, I have a very exciting dupe. This is actually a new product that launched from Tarte. Really gorgeous palette. This is the Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. So you can use these bottom shades for contour, and then you, of course, can use the shadows as shadow liner, whatever you want to use them for. And then, of course, they have beautiful shadow trios, three of them up here to work with. I found that this was very similar to a Milani palette. This is the number one must-have neutrals. So I'm gonna use that on the affordable side, and we're gonna go in with Tarte, which this palette is $45 on the more expensive. I'm gonna take the shade Stone from the Tarte palette and I'm just working this through the socket. And then I'm gonna go into the Milani palette, I'm wiping off my brush, and I'm gonna go into this shade right here and do the same thing on the other eye. I do wanna deepen up the outer corners just the tiniest, littlest bit. I'm gonna take a tiny brush and go into, there are two black shades. I have Onyx from the Tarte palette, so I'm going to dip right into there and just grab a little bit on the tip of the brush and just start on the outer edge, almost like I'm lining my eye, because I want this to be nice and low. And then I'm gonna take the black from the Milani palette and do the same thing. Ooh, the Milani black is actually more intense. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna grab more Onyx and try to even this out. Not what I was initially trying to do, but we're going with the flow. We're just going with the flow. So I'm going to take a clean brush and kind of smudge everything out now. I think we need a little shine on the lid, so we're gonna dip into this right here from Tom Ford. I discovered that texture-wise, this guy right here from Models Own is very similar to the Tom Ford kind of metallic finish eyeshadows. It's very soft. It has a lot of pigmentation. And if you take the top two from this particular palette and mix them together, they're not identical, but they, this is Tom Ford right here, but they are pretty gosh darn close. Models Own is a new line at Ulta, $11.99 for this full big pan. We are gonna go all over the lid and then we're gonna dip into Tom Ford on the other side. And I'm just kind of going back and forth between these two. Tom Ford's a little bit brighter, but I mean, can you really tell a difference? I can't. I'm also gonna take just a little bit, whatever is left over on the brush and go under the brow bone. I'm gonna take a clean brush back into the model's own just so we don't have any carry over. Time for a little bit of liner. I'm gonna take this one from Hourglass up against this guy from Essence. This one I have raved about in the past. It dries out very quick, but it's $2.99. So I'm just gonna start on the inner corner. This one from Hourglass, I do really enjoy. It's just, it's expensive. Thank you God for a good liner day. I always feel so happy when that happens and then I look at the blank eye and I'm like, 
We're not done. I believe in you. Do you see how like rich and pigmented that is though, right? It's mascara time. I need to find a lash curler. Taking the Lash Paradise over here, you guys already know, I think this beats out so many high-end mascaras and you have all been like tweeting me that you're trying it out, showing me pictures and I'm loving it. Another mascara that I do love so much, but again, my point is you don't have to spend a fortune on makeup if you don't have the money. Do not feel like you have to cut corners to go and splurge on a really expensive item. You know, wait till you can do it really comfortably. You can absolutely find things that will work just as well. This is from Chantecaille. This does have lash growers in it, so that's that's why it is such a high price. This is, <clears throat> this is a $72 mascara. Worth the money? I'm not sure, but it is really, really pretty. All right, I am gonna put on false lashes. I don't wanna put on two different styles of lashes because I think that would just look crazy. So hold tight, I'm gonna put on lashes and I will be right back. Obviously wearing some very big lashes. I don't know, I was just kind of in a mood. I went for it. I am wearing the Miami Lashes from Lily Lashes. I like how these go on. All right, so I am going to line the waterline right here just to kind of further conceal the lash band. I'm gonna use Rimmel Scandalize in black and then I'm gonna use Make It Forever in OL. And the Rimmel one is $3.99. The Make It Forever is a lot more. And they basically do the same thing. So I'm just going to literally grip under here and that'll just help everything to be completely seamless. I like this eye makeup. I am gonna add some mascara to my lower lash line really quick. I didn't know if I was gonna put like makeup under there or what so I kept it kind of blank. But let's just load her. Oh my god. You know what? I just put the L'Oreal on the expensive side. I just put the L'Oreal on the expensive side. Whatever. We're just gonna put this one on both because this is literally my favorite mascara. Okay, I will point out one thing that is happening that is quite annoying, and it's not happening on the expensive side, so I wanna say, as far as a really good waterproof eyeliner, you might wanna spend a little bit more because you can't really set the waterline with powder to make it more budge proof. You can do that when you're lining on top on the lash line, but if you can see, the transfer is happening down in the waterline here and here, and that's not happening over here on the Make It Forever side. Interesting. Lip liner time. I have a $20 liner from Urban Decay. This is stark naked, and I have the Essence lip liner in number 11 in the nude. Whenever I hear stark, all I think of is Game of Thrones and how excited I am for it to come back. I'm literally like scratching off the days like a kid waiting for Christmas, like I can't even handle it. Who else is like so excited for this season? I think it's gonna be the best season ever. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Rimmel and we're gonna take Urban Decay. And now we are going to take Maybelline on this side. Just real quick. YSL, also a pretty nude. I mean, look at the packaging though. You're paying for part of the packaging. You know that, like everybody knows that when you're buying a YSL or something very luxury. This is $37, way more opaque. So there's your side by side. This from NARS is $26. This is the shade International Velvet, I believe. It's really hard to read it. It's discontinued, it was limited, but I gotta do, I gotta do. Put her right there and then wait for it. Revlon, oh my gosh. I mean, you guys, this is like one of the best dupes of the whole video. It just adds this beautiful shine to any lip gloss with just like a little kiss of cool tone pink essence, right? We're at the end. It is time to highlight. We're gonna go into this extremely expensive guy right here. This is from Clay to Poe. I did WTF. I thought it was pretty great, but really, I don't think you need to spend this much money on a highlighter. Let's just go over this cheekbone over here. Now I'm gonna go in with e.l.f. on the other side. It has a very similar tone. We're going for more of a cool tone glam today. See? Oh, look. And dad, look, I feel highlighted and I feel like I just saved so much money. Really, I didn't because I bought both of them, but maybe you will save some money. I didn't contour my nose today. How did that even happen? You know what? I am gonna go into this Tarte palette. I don't think there's any payoff like doing a dupe on a side to side, but I'm gonna try out the shade Desert. I've never tried this one before just to 
do a quick little contour, see how that goes. I don't know what I just did. All right, so I just did a very quick contour with that Tarte palette, and I'm really happy with this look. I really love it. And I think I just proved that you can definitely do any of these looks that you see on Instagram, or even in my tutorials, you can always figure out some type of a duplicate to help you achieve a similar effect. So never feel like you are watching a video and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna be able to do that because I just don't have the money. You know, you can definitely shop drugstore and go and, you know, buy a $5 blush, buy a $4 liner and play around and see what you come up with. I really enjoy this look. So I hope you did too. And if you did love it, please thumbs up the video, share the video, leave me those comments below. Let me know what you thought was the best dupe of the bunch and also what other looks you would like to see for an upcoming dupe tutorial. All right. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.